Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to do an unboxing and first review of another Travisa or Travisa knife. I'm still not too sure how to pronounce that, but yeah. Again, that same fantastic box, etc. This is the Leo 03 RB. Um, yeah, it's a, you know what? These knives, the packaging, everything is just so well done. It's incredible. Again, that really nice box. And of course, again, you get your cloth, your little knife bag, etc. Some brochures, etc. And then, of course, the blade in question. So this one, I haven't actually seen on the website. So this is going to be quite an interesting one. Let's get that stuff out of the way. There you have this beautiful piece of, of steel. I'm just wanting to show you the fit and polish. Check how scented everything is, how polished the fit is. It's quite a nice skeletonized scales with uh, liners. Beautiful. Nice big backspacer right up to here. Double screw pocket clip. Nice polished stainless steel belt clip. Really nice. Again, got some jumping on the side over there. Beautiful. I really like the color of this knife as well. And, um, and typical Travisa fashion, razor smooth. This is a stone wash. Stone wash knife, stone wash blade. That's quite nice. It gives it a bit of a different look from the usual sort of thumb studs, etc. Really cool. Completely skeletonized, as you can see right through. Beautiful workmanship. Again, these knives really do hold their own with their quality and at a really good price point. Absolutely love these blades. And I look forward to seeing many, many more of these in action. And let's get to a paper sharpness test. That is ridiculously sharp. That blade is crazy sharp, guys. Um, beautiful piece. Again, these knives, Travisa SA, Andre Ferri, beautiful pieces of kit. Um, I look forward to seeing more of these. This is one fantastic piece. Um, the next few of these, I think I'm gonna do a much more in-depth review dig into a little bit more of the versatility and use of these knives etc just a little bit of interesting detail about this uh, blade this blade the blade material um, I stand to correction but I believe it's a Bola K110 steel um, which is a pretty decent steel for all intents and purposes um, so K110 I'm not too familiar with it but it's a Bola steel so it's going to be decent quality the blade is finished with titanium coating and stone wash uh, to give it a bit of rigidity and stability and of course just to give it that fantastic sort of stone wash look that you get. Looks really cool. Um, it is a liner lock. Again you can see there's great retention. This one's actually got almost 50% retention on the liner lock. Uh, everything about it is just beautiful. Um, this one, uh, the hardness will also be between 58 and 60 HRC on the Rockwell scale, ceramic ball bearings. The overall length of this knife is 218 millimeters. The blade length is 95 millimeters. Closed length is 123 millimeters, like that. Um, the blade width, which is pretty much from this point to this point over here, at its thickest will be 27 millimeters or 1.06 inches um, and the blade thickness again a little bit thicker than most at 3.5 millimeters making it quite a decent blade for um, strength etc really cool i still love that skeletonized look about it so guys that's pretty much it oh one more thing the weight of this 
is at 133.4 grams, making it another lightweight, really cool knife to carry around with you. Um, the actual material of the scales, I believe, okay, well, besides the drop point blade, the scales are red and blue, G10. So I believe this is G10. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Another really cool knife. I wish I'd had more time to um, peruse this blade, but obviously time is of the essence and uh, I have a few more really cool knives to get through. So, but this one, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Take care, everyone.